Hey guys! Welcome to the replay if you're joining us on the replay and if you're joining us live type in the chat bar and let me know that you're here. Say hello and let me know where you're watching from. Hope everybody is having a great Saturday. I know I'm having a great Saturday. Busy, busy, all kinds of things going on. Oh, you can see some of my surprise. Oh, I'm going to move some things over. may have to move the stuff completely out of the way. The camera, it got me. We'll see how that goes. How's everybody doing? Let's see if I can pull up. I see that there's people typing comments. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Gabriella. Thanks for joining. Let's see if I can straighten you guys out just a little bit. I see that we're kind of wobble jobbled. So I went to Tuesday morning and got some great stuff at Tuesday morning and I thought I would come on and show that and do a little unboxing and testing and we're just going to try some things out and play. Why not? Why not? Let's see. Looks like the arm of my camera is a little, is what's making us sideways. <clears throat> Oh, and I have, have new nails. I cut my nails way down, and I let them talk me into doing solid color, but it's just a white sparkle. I have never done that before, so y'all let me know. What do you think? White sparkle, really short nails. <laughs> I'm not used to having them this short, so I don't think it'll last very long. They'll be grown out within three weeks, and I'll be happy to have them long again. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, I went to Tuesday morning and I picked up some stuff. I'm going to start with this cute little notebook. Um, I just love the stripes and gold foil on there. That was $3.99. And then I got this Heidi Swap planner and I'm totally cheating this. I'm not using it as a planner. I'm going to use it more like a, like a memory keeper. So I thought I would show it. It was $14.99 at Tuesday morning. Hi, Maria. Thanks for joining. And like I said, it's Heidi Swap. And it's an undated version, which I really like. And it's got all the different tabs. Got some gold foil. Of course, it's got my polka dots. Love the polka dots. And um, each month has a little, um, like, miniature... I don't even know what to call it. It's not pocket letters, but it's kind of like our pocket letter sleeves. But it's a mini photo holder or whatever kind of keepsakes you want to put in there. And it has a to-do list and graph paper and like a sticky note um, for you to keep your notes on. And then you see your month at a glance. Let's make sure I'm in frame there. And it's undated, so you can put whatever you want. And then it has over here a place to put a quote, important moments, happenings, and notes. I really like that. And then your week at a view, you've got a place to write little notes, but also more detailed information. I'm actually thinking about doing like pictures or journaling um, on all of these spots and just like highlights of anything big that happened that day and see if I can do some memory keeping that way. I thought that would be just something new to try. Haven't done it before. Why not? You have the same one, Maria? I'm like... I currently am collecting planners. It's kind of getting ridiculous at this point because I have quite a few. Um, I'm even redoing my happy planners from several years ago. I'm just changing out the dates because I change, I put date covers on it anyway. So instead of buying a whole new set, I'm reusing what I had because I had a lot left over. But yeah, so. That was um, the first little thing that I 
got from Tuesday morning. Then I found all kinds of embossing folders. You guys, I have an embossing pro folder problem. I have said this before. I love embossing folders. I like changing paper. And so I, I put this one back and picked it up about four times. Um, ended up going ahead and getting it. I really love these Richard Gary um, silver and gold collection. This one is Elegant Lattice and this one is called Brocade Code and it is it's just different. I don't know it kind of strikes me as a little bit um, maybe Christmassy because I've had the feel of this is kind of like an ornament and this is kind of like snowflakes or branches and pine cones and I'm not sure I just really like it and then of course this is a Christmas one does it have a name this is ornaments hung and it has some snowflakes and stars and this one is called <laughs> assorted clocks I cannot believe I don't have this one because I have so much stuff that is clocks and gears and whatnot and then I could not let go of big dots. Um, it's polka dots, but they're bigger than the other ones I have. I have quite the collection of dot embossing folders. I love them. So had to had to get that by Sizzix. And then um, I found a couple of stamps. Not not as much in the stamp department today. I was really kind of surprised. So um, I got some Bow Bunny Falling Leaves. And I'm going to be putting some of these on ATCs. Um, I've got a Halloween one from Graphic 45 and Hampton Art. And it says Happy Haunting. It's got the three owls. Um, I doubt that this is photopolymer, even if it was the regular price of $9.99. I doubt that it's actually photopolymer. So we'll see how these stamp out. They may not stamp real clear. And they're not actually... Um, super detailed stamps anyway they're kind of, they look kind of fuzzy to begin with so we'll see how that is and it looks like maybe this is a witch's hat and a broom let's just pull it out of here and see yeah witch's hat and the broom has little stars coming off of it so I guess you can have it be flying that's kind of cute I like it I like it and then I got this one does it have a name holiday silhouette um, Merry Christmas and to all a good night it's got Santa and the reindeer flying off it's got a little village snowflakes uh, a stockings hung with care peace on earth and Christmas trees that are actually cut out so um, the black is the night sky and then, then you've got snowflakes and the Christmas trees cut out so I thought that was kind of cool got that one and then I have never tried these before but they look very much like the Nuvo brand of um, glitter markers or glitter brush um, set that Nuvo put out that is kind of along the same lines of Wink Estella. What I have found is Nuvo is a lot more glitter so um, I thought that I would just get them and let's try them. Let's see how they do. This is by <laughs> Artsy, let's see. I want to say that Artsy is myartsy.com. Yeah, and oh, this one looks like it's been opened. We'll just try it out. Hey, Dana, thanks for joining. Let me get these guys cut open. And they have a little protective ring in them that keeps them from activating. So you just take the little ring out and then you screw that together and it's going to allow for the flow of um, liquid. You give it a little bit of a push and you'll see the liquid go into the barrel right here. And so I can see that I've got liquid. Oh, it's dripping already. Wow. Okay, let's see what color this one's supposed to be. This is supposed to be silver. Oh, okay. It's just super concentrated. It looks blue on my um, on my countertop, but that is silver. Holy moly! Look at that. That's super concentrated silver. Okay. 
This one is black. And it has such an incredible shine. This really outdoes Wink Estella. Um, I'm a fan of Wink Estella, but the Wink also, like I have a clear Nuvo, and my clear Nuvo um, actually is clear. It doesn't leave any kind of like a champagne overtone or anything. Let's see, just get some loaded in the barrel. All right, Woo! there we go. Spread that around. Ooh, that is glittery. Oh my goodness. Guys, that is like liquid glitter. That's what that looks like. Hopefully these guys don't leak because I don't have a holder right here where I'm at. And then I've got gold. So let's see if the gold is just as good. Hi, Linda. Thanks for joining. I'm showing off these My Art C glitter brushes that I picked up. I got black, gold, and silver. And then I got a three pack that has red, blue, and green. It's indigo, brick red, and green. So... You just give it a little push and bring some down into the barrel. Oh, look, it's dripping on me already. Before I could even see it in the barrel. Wow. That is a very yellow, yellow gold. Um, I don't know that I would do that to put gold like over the top of something because it is gonna change the color drastically. So silver, gold, black. It is all over me. I'm going to rinse my hands off. Get it up off of the countertop. How's everybody doing today? Having a good Saturday, I hope. All right, give me a thumbs up if y'all want to have a look at these other three colors, green, indigo, and brick red. I'll just set that aside until I see if anybody gives me a thumbs up. It was $5.99 for the three pack of those. I felt like that was a pretty good deal. These individuals were $2.99. Hi, Teresa. Thanks for joining. The individual sizes, um, individual colors were $2.99. So $5.99 for three of them seemed like a really good deal. And with Christmas coming up, I was like, well, yeah, I can use red and green. And I'll, I'll probably use the blue year round. So easy peasy okay I'm gonna move on to a different product let me put those away so there's that set those rings aside so I can do them later I picked up these um, these are from Bray Reese I have never seen this type of this particular brand before um refill and reuse water brushes these are filled with watercolor ink um so we've got a purple a pink and an aqua and that was $5.99 and I was like well $5.99 if I hate the ink inside of it and it doesn't do what I want it to do well then I can use it as a water brush and that's not a bad price just to have for a water brush so these work the same way. They've got the little ring in them to keep them from being um, activated until you're ready to activate them. So does anybody want to see the uh, water brushes in action? Give me a thumbs up if you do. Meanwhile... I'll be pulling out other stuff. <clears throat> so I got some charms and I was lucky enough to find both sets. I got the raw charm brand of the alphabet. It was $2.99 for each, but then I've got one of each of the alphabet on a charm. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, really, really liked how that was. Let's flip this one over. There we go. 
Bam. Oh, I'm seeing some thumbs up. Okay, I'll come back and do that in just a second. And then I got Halloween Adornments, Tim Holtz Ideology, and Halloween Typed Tokens. Um, I saw these recently. Tim Holtz was, was showing off his stuff for this season. And I saw some of these, and I thought, well, let's go ahead and pick them up. We've got the cat head. Actually, I think that's supposed to be an owl's head. Um, the spider. Oh, that's all that's in here is the spider and the owl's head. Well, interesting. I think it was supposed to have more. So somebody probably just did a little change out on that one. Um, but nonetheless, that's what is in there. That might be why they were at Tuesday morning. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Hi, Cheryl. Thanks for joining. Glad to see you here today. And throw those aside. Let's see if we can check out these little Halloween tokens. Woo! Throw them around. Okay. Beware, spooky, 31, haunt, boo. I really like boo. That's cute. Ghost, found, fright, potion. Oh, look, this one says trick or treat. Trick or treat. Spirit. Scary, wicked. I got a couple of wickeds, a couple of scaries. Lost. That's funny. There's a lost and a found. Oh, look, and it's October 31. So you get the 31 token, but you also get October 31. I like it. Uh -oh. I can get them back in the back in the bucket. Set that aside. Some charms aside. Okay, let me open up this piece of paper here, and we'll activate these guys and give them a try. Again, these are from Bray or Bree. It's B R E A. So maybe it's Bree Reese is the name of it. Um, I've not actually heard of this brand. And let's see. No, it doesn't have anything on the back um, telling me any more about it. All right, so we screw the lid on, give it a little push so that it comes down into the barrel. Hmm. Well, maybe. <laughs> okay, let's try a different color because that one doesn't want to do anything. This is the purple. Get it all the way on there. I'm going to pull the cap off. And it's definitely coming down into the barrel. Okay, I can see some color. Ooh, that is really dark. Really, really dark purple. Interesting. All right, so maybe we just didn't get up. Oh, the blue is now coming down into the barrel. These are super vivid colors. I think um, like for Bible journaling or um, any kind of art journaling, if you're going to be using a multi-purpose paper or a watercolor paper, or if you're doing it in a Bible, as long as you've got something behind the page so it doesn't go onto other pages, it may actually bleed through. I don't know. It hasn't bled through too bad on my regular paper here, um, but I, it's very wet. All right, and that pink, ooh, it almost looks red when it comes out. You really have to spread, spread, spread it out. And of course, I'm just using typing paper here, just copy paper, <laughs> typing paper. How does that age me? Um, <laughs> copy paper, and 
it really is soaking in super quick. So it might do better with an actual watercolor paper. So there we go. There's those guys. Put those, lit, those rings over there. And next up, I got some really cute gold handled mini snips. These are five and a half inch. Um, I've got I've got some. They're not cutter bees, um, and I don't have the Tim Holtz. But I saw these, and I'm always looking for good detail scissors. Two forty nine. That's a really great price. So I went ahead and picked those up. And then they had a huge assortment of um, Mambi. Me and my big idea create three sixty five uh, for the Happy Planners. A huge selection of stickers, and this one for $5.99 gets you all of the alphabets with the numbers and I'm using a lot of numbers lately so I thought I'd go ahead and pick that up and this one is called color story um, and it's just different than the ones I've had before look at that hello weekend look at how huge that is guys it's crazy and these that say plans have grid marks and just Lots of great stuff. Here's another You Got This. Looks like every other one or every third one maybe has a big one. Today, this, this life is lovely. Oh, I like that. Go the extra mile. It's never crowded. Very cute. So, let's see. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you learn. can't even get the pages to turn. Love this one. One thing at a time. Black, white, and gold. My favorite. And here we have just black and white. Love black and white. So yeah, this one is called Color Story and it's Mambi. 459 pieces. Um, I know you can usually pick these up at Michael's or Hobby Lobby for about 10 bucks instead of the sticker price of $19.99, but $5.99 is hard to pass up, so I went ahead and got those. And I have yet to find my watercolor um, pencils, so I ran across a great set of watercolor pencils. I say great set. It's got a lot of colors in it. Um, I don't know. It's 24 pieces. I don't know how fabulous the quality is on these, so I'll be trying them out, and I'll definitely let you know what I think of the quality. Then, move this guy aside. I got stencils. I am on this stencil kick and I'm going to try some of these with Chalk Couture. Um, these are sticky ones and so this one is Holiday Cheer and this one is called Spooky so it's got Halloween stuff on it. Let's see if y'all can see that well in the camera. Americana is the brand, and I guess they're a paint company. And then this one is Large Florida Lee, and it's got it a couple different ways. And then I found these guys, um, Andy Skinner Mixed Media Stencils. Love this one. It's called Creativity. And this one is called Made to Measure, and it's got a clock, it's got the guy in the top hat, it's got your numbers, 13, it's got pounds, like as if you're doing a scale. Over here you've got um, inches measured out, like a ruler. I just thought that was really great. This guy, let's see if we can see everything it says. Imagine, art, breathe, create, own, destiny. Well, it doesn't want to come out of the package. Dreams. Nope, that didn't work either. Be happy, believe, live life, love. Create, 
Create your own destiny is what that says. Very cool. I like that. Very, very cute. So I'll be trying those out. Um, they show using sprays or using your um, blender brush and putting it on that way. I will definitely be trying it with some chalk tour to see what I can do, um, if I can do it, or texture paste. And texture paste might be the way to go with these guys. So all of the stencils were $1.99 each. And then Americana Decor had fishtail and polka dots. Love me some polka dots, so I had to pick those up. Bye, Sherry. Thanks for joining. Have a good evening. Okay, and then um, a couple weeks ago, I was posting online asking people questions about their big kicks or their side kicks, um, Big Shot by Sizzix, and I've had the worst time with mine lately. Now, I've had it a year, just under a year. I use it a lot. Um, I know I've got all the different plates and all the different stuff to go with it and never had a problem until I did have a problem, and now that I've got a problem, it just won't work. The sides of... Um, the sides will actually cut or emboss a little bit, and the center of it does not do it at all. Um, I contacted Sizzix, and I thought that things were going really well, that they were going to help me out. Then they asked for a receipt, and because I don't have a receipt, they basically told me, go to the parts, parts department, and good luck, which wasn't very happy with them. I'm a longtime Ellison supporter. Um, Ellison is the company that Sizzix is is actually a brand of and I was really disappointed that they did that because you know what if it had been a gift or something like that not everybody's gonna have a receipt I do have the box I do have proof of purchase that way um, but yeah they basically told me good luck so today I picked up the we are memory keepers evolution advanced or advanced evolution I don't know which one it is but I picked it up today so I thought we would unbox it and maybe give it a whirl and see how it goes. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. First things first, how to open the box. All right, I'm going to move some stuff out of my way real quick. And I do not have any knowledge of this machine at all. I do not know if it does um, thick. Actually, I would really doubt that it does still roll dies. Those are the thick dies. Um, it probably is just doing thin ones, but I can hope because I have a lot of still roll dies. And let's see. All right, it says visit Memory Keepers, sorry, visit wearememorykeepers.com for information and product inspiration. All right, it has a dial on it to set the thickness of your paper or your material that you're using. So, easy peasy. Okay, pull it out, it's heavy. Get all of the pieces out of here. And the box says, what is the box says? It says, kit includes everything you need to start creating a self-healing mat, a cutting and embossing platform, the Evolution Advanced Tool. So it is called the Evolution Advanced. And... Hmm. There does not appear to be a handle. Let me look and see if it's in the styrofoam. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to have to be going back to the store and be like, 
It does not have a handle. You guys, it does not have a handle. I'm so sad. Okay, am I missing? It says, attach the handle. There's no handle. <laughs> That was very short lived, wasn't it? That's hilarious. Oh my goodness. Well, boo. I was all excited, and I don't think that there's any way uh, to actually make this thing work without the crank, without the handle. So I'll be going back to the store and uh, we'll see if they can't swap that out for me for another box. This one is $49.99 at Tuesday morning. It's supposed to do embossing, die cutting, and letter press, if you have a letter press. Um, I'm very excited to try it out. So in the event that I get a handle, I'll have them check the next box. If we get a handle, then I'll come back on sometime in the next couple days and give you guys, uh, let you guys see us put it together and see how easy it is. And kind of check it out from there. Meanwhile, let's see if it'll, it's supposed to have some storage compartments. Hmm. Okay, push down and yep. Oh, I found the handle. <laughs> it's in the storage compartment. How funny is that? Okay, never mind. We're going to keep going. So we'll install the handle. There's a little storage compartment on it. Let's see what's on the other side. Nothing. Storage compartment. Um, it's not. Let's see. You get what they're calling a B-mat. You get, um, this feels very much like an embossing mat, so I'm guessing that's what it is. And you get a base mat. It's a platform, just like Sizzix does for the big kit. That's kind of cool. And let's see. Oh, it's sections to the table. So let's turn it. I hope this is something um, a little more, well, I mean, it's got this big platform, so it's definitely um, different than the cuddle bug. It works just like a big kick. You roll it through. I like that it has the little storage containers, um, but I can't imagine what I'm going to put in there, except maybe the handle. Oh my goodness. Let's move it back a little. Uh, we have to be able to set the dial. So let's see. Let's set the dial on. Come over here and set it on die cut. Hmm. All right. When all else fails, grab the instructions, right? So, um, English version. Attach the handle. Ta-da! We attach the handle. Pull down the platforms with adequate force. Okay. Now it's sectioned. Um, push and turn the dial in either direction to the desired setting, the markings on the dial give suggested range for die cutting, embossing, and letter pressing. Um, okay. Once the dial is set, follow the directions below for die cut, emboss, and letter press. Okay, so place your die with cutting side up on the gray cutting platform. So this is our cutting platform. And I have some dies, so let me just grab one. This is LDRS Creative Gilded Oval Die. Um, this is one that Genevieve from uh, Jennifer Harrison from Genevieve Designs uses in her memory keeping albums. And so I thought, well, we'll just grab that and give it a try. And let's just die cut this little scrap paper that I have. So says that we lay the die cut side up, put your paper over your die, okay, 
and cover with cutting mat B. So this is our cutting mat B. I don't know if it matters which side is up. I don't know. Cover with cutting mat B and roll the platform through. Definitely gets harder as we go, which you want it to have some resistance. Now it's not making that creaking, cracking noise that everybody's so used to with the cuddle bag and the Sizzix. So hopefully it's actually doing its thing. Okay. Definitely die cut. Ooh, it cut deep into it too. All right. There's my little intricate die cut. This is two pieces of paper and it is like welded together. I don't think this paper is coming apart. Let's see. Oh, maybe. Ta-da! That's pretty intricate. Okay, well, that works great. Um, so I'm going to give that an A for die cutting. And let's grab an embossing folder and give it a try what I did with all the embossing folders. Bye Cheryl, thanks for joining. Okay, this is Elegant Lattice by Richard Garay. Hope I'm saying that right. I've never heard of it. Never heard of it at all. I've got some card fronts cut. that in there try to get it straight I've just got some a2 card fronts cut and we've got to change the dial over here to emboss and open it back up there we go let's see what it says for embossing okay place the paper inside your boss embossing folder cover with cutting mat B and roll through the platform. So same exact thing. Here goes. The handle turns really, really easily. I'm going to go back through just for good measure. I gotta tell you, it doesn't even feel like it's doing anything at all. So let's see. Oh, totally embossed that paper. Good job. Okay, I'm thinking that that's pretty much a win. Uh, let's see. Let me look at it again. It is retail $119.99, and the price at Tuesday morning is $49.99. It's from We Are Memory Keepers, and I think it's going to work really good. Um, let's see if I can put a regular steel rule die through it. First things first, I'm going to compare the height. The height of them is the same, so it should work. So let's do that. Piece of scrap paper, the cutting mat on top. Huh. That's what I get for not locking the handle. There is a way to lock the handle, guys. <laughs> Follow the instructions. Don't do what I do. That's, that's my instructions. Follow the instructions. I don't know. That didn't feel like it was doing anything either. No, nope, that didn't do a thing. So it's not going to work with that. Wow, that really cut into that mat. And it's already bent the mat. Like, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it already, just from doing that little bit, is already bowing the mat. So definitely be uh, turning the mat over each time like we do with the Sizzix as well. So 
yeah, there's that. That's everything from Tuesday morning. It's my little un unboxing and trial. Hopefully you guys like that. Does anybody have any questions? Anything you want to see more of? Sticky for my uh, die is sticking to the plastic. I keep the originals and just pop them right back on there. And I'm guessing that the Sizzix stuff um, will actually work with this as well. The Sizzix platform and things. I don't know. Let's grab it and see. platform looks to be about the same size the cutting mats do fit through width wise that's the most important thing the mat fits through so the multi-purpose extended multi-purpose platform does fit through it um, I also have the magnetic platform and the precision cutting mat so I'll be trying those out as well um, just to kind of see how they do and this might be the answer to my problem since Sizzix is sending me to parts and telling me to rebuild the machine um, this is probably the way I'm gonna go for the temporary at least because I, I don't have time to wait on parts to get here with the projects that I have going at the moment so that's what I got all right, guys, thanks for, for joining me on this Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. I hope y'all are having a wonderful weekend. I know I'm having a great day, and I've got some good plans for the rest of the day. Part of that includes running over to Michael's. I've got an order waiting for me to pick up at Michael's that I cannot wait to get my hands on. And somebody in the group posted 25% off total, and the, um, the Tim Holtz Halloween line is there at the store and on sale for 40% off. The 25% off actually works on top of sale items. So I'm hoping to get my hands on those shifter stencils today. Um, we'll see. We'll see what they've got and how that all works out. And if I do another uh, big haul, I'll definitely jump back on and let you guys see what I got later this weekend and answer any questions that you might have. In the meantime, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and happy crafting.